Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more John Mayan versus the Auto Man in Europa Universe House 4. Pretty good merc supply over here. Um, just waiting on a couple of these guys to show up. And I think we'll attack Dulkadir. We're over our force limit by three. John Mayan's still in their first war. So being a little bit slow, a little bit lazy. We did win that siege, which is great, which means we could pull that infantry down here as well. Once these three get over here, we'll declare war on him, and then we'll immediately declare war on Ramazan. I'm loving the fact that they haven't allied each other. It allows us to separate peace people, or just, you know, peace out a lot easier, which is great. Um, we don't need to worry about this siege till we have the boats available to blockade it. We did finish the siege of Athens, though, so we don't really need these boats here. He's done as many. Okay, let's go ahead and get this war started. Prime against Allah. We don't care. We're very mean. Okay, so our Cav are going to be just the right size to be able to engage. He's got a 0010 leader. It's uh, rather unfortunate for him. Interestingly, it didn't deploy in the way I would have expected. Do we want brigands to strike at pilgrims? Gain some piety. Yeah, I think we're trying to convert stuff. Definitely want the prestige as well. Stack wipe is great. Uh, if we can, we want to just immediately declare this war before we move in. He's got a six stack. Uh, let's go ahead and shift consolidate. We'll send the one stack over to here to block that um, that problems from training and in case Kara tries to declare war. Okay, Serbia just allied Albania. Okay. I hope that this just falls before he joins the war. Hey, perfect timing. So before he could join the war, we just get to piece him out. So we take that land back. Bring these troops over to here. Let's bring our boats into here for now. We gained one land, one naval force limit. Let's build another galley. That fort's about to fall. We can now declare war on Ramazan, who also has no ally. Should probably leave behind a guy. No, we didn't have any siege progress anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's training a troop. No big deal. Hey, we've got Moria. Okay, those boats are going to come out. And we can bring these guys over to here. Serbia has announced Byzantium as their rival. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, this is a level 1 fort, so we will leave behind just barely enough troops to do the siege. And then come back to here as well. Nice, we've taken Constantinople. Perfect. That was actually a pretty quick siege for that. Now, we're going to take Constantinople. It's our only claim, um, but we're also going to take everything else, too. <laughs> like, aggressive expansion be damned. Uh, the Diplo cost be damned. We just want all this land. Um, I believe... Yeah, it's just claims. We don't care. We want all of the land. On the other hand, we could... You know what I've actually done quite often is you take Constantinople and then you make Athens, you release Athens as your vassal and then give them this land here. Yeah, I think that might work. That'd be a horrible idea. So we don't have to court ourselves and we don't have to deal with the fact that it's orthodox and not an accepted culture. Because we don't accept Greek. No, we do accept Greek. So we accept this culture. Do we want to just take it ourselves then? Yeah, let's just take it ourselves. Just keep it all. Okay. Now, we do need to be at peace, I believe, for the the decision to make Constantinople our capital. But that is something that we want to do. Okay, yearly legitimacy is up. Conquer Levant. That's what we're looking for. Conquer Kaffa. All right, so we're going to take Conquer the Levant. We're going to start coring. We don't have a lot of points, that's okay. Our force limit should have gone up. Yep, we've gained one force limit and some more naval force limit. We want to have more galleys, because when we go to war with the, uh, the Mamluks, it's still going to be an issue. Let's get another galley. Not very expensive anyway. Uh, we don't have any loans. We're doing fine on money. Manpower's not bad. 
good thing to merc up early. If you're going to try to be as aggressive as we have been here. We're getting most of our war exhaustion, I think, from, from the sieges. So the Ulima want more land. Okay. Loyalties above 60%. We gain national tax modifier. Ooh. Technology cost. The Dimmy. I like the Dimmy. I like the tech cost reduction. Okay, um... I still think we're going to get rid of some of our forts. Like, I don't think we need these. And other than that... Like, we need... Well, we do need quite a bit. We need seven forts. We have four. Seven forts to maintain our army tradition. Well, it's not a big deal. So if I was to give you this to the Ulima... Local unrest goes down. That could be good. Removes local autonomy for local attacks modifier. Okay, let's find like a high development province. You know what we might be able to do? What if I give them Constantinople? Well, yeah, because we're going to make this into our capital. We will just do this. We'll raise autonomy. And then we're going to give it to the... To the Dimi, I think it was. No, to the Ulima. For now. But then the decision's going to make that into our capital. Which will floor the autonomy down to 0% again. And it just temporarily appeases the Ulima. So that's cool. Okay, we still have cores on Karakunlu, who also has no allies. So we would definitely like to get these armies over here to attack him. How is Yan Mayan doing? So he's already won his war. Uh, he just finished it, apparently. He took over all of it. I can't see if he's coring, but I imagine he's already coring. It will only take him 25% of the base 36 months. Even less if it's an accepted culture. So he's going to take, like, what? Nine months to core everything? It's just damn near instantaneous. Alright, first things first, let's get this siege started. Let's bring our boats over to here. And I believe that's the entire navy, right? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. We start another core. 93 points. Might not be a horrible idea to actually focus on admin. I think I will. I mean, we want military tech 4, but as quickly as we're trying to expand to grow large enough, fast enough to be able to combat, combat the, uh, you know, the bad guys. I think we're going to need it. And we already border the Mamluks, and we can conquer the Levant. And what we want to do is we want to take this land down here so that it's distant overseas. We don't want to take these two. Or rather, we want to create Syria, is the plan. Um, but to do that, we want Kara, who has no claims, to join the war. So we need Kara to become our ally. We're friendly toward him. We do have a core on his territory, but we're willing to forgive him for this first war. If we weren't at war, he would totally do it. So let's not do any royal marriages. Let's just wrap up these three wars. We also need to blockade down here. <clears throat> I do think we want to jump on this guy before Kara can join. So as soon as this army gets here, let's pull this leader off. And let's declare war on Akyunlu. Now he probably has this land set as vital interest. So if we take it, it might prevent us from becoming allies. Which would really screw over my, my plans for having the Mamluks. I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's, it, we have a core on it. I have to have it. Like, right now. Unfortunately, this is all regular troops, so we're gonna take some actual manpower hit here. That's okay, though. Could be worse. And this army's in position to attack Kara... Uh, Karaman, but we have quite a long truce here, till 49. So I think we're gonna bring these guys around instead. Stack wipe's awesome. We'll take these two. Split them in half. One goes there. One goes there. And yes, this requires 12 troops because of my increased mod. The, uh, 
increased fort, fort limit for level 1 forts. So instead of it costing 9 troops on a capital fort, it takes 12. Which I think makes sense. I feel like the, the amount of troops required is too low. Honestly, I feel like you should have to invest more resources into a siege. Like, I was reading about some of the stuff, right? And there's, there's situations where it's like... Um... Like a war took 70,000 troops in 20 years or something to, to do an actual siege. So we only have 10 troops there. Let's pull over another one there. Curtailed mercenaries, or... Yeah, I'm okay with the mercenary cost going up. I don't think it's a problem. And since we are doing nothing but sieges now, we can go down to about 60% maintenance. Diplomatic insult on Venice is fine. Okay, uh, rather than fight his navy, I don't care about his navy at all. Nor do I care about any of it, really. I just take the, take the province. Just let his ships disappear. Okay, Cyprus is still guaranteed by the Mamluks, which is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to use Cyprus to get two wars on the Mamluks back-to-back. -back. Ideally. Georgia is actually beating up on Kara. Kara is winning, but he's got a few sieges there. Interesting. Okay, just waiting on a couple sieges, getting some looting in. We do have enough admin to start another core. More people declaring war on Georgia. Georgia's going to get beaten up pretty quick. The Trebizond is allied to Theodoro. Georgia wouldn't defend them right now. Trebizond is a uh, Pontic culture, which is not accepted by us, and it's Orthodox. So it's not really great territory, like we don't need that land. Um, if anything, I'd love to vassalize Serbia. A lot of times you can get a mission for that though, so let's just wait. We're holding out for Military Tech 4 before we take that idea. And uh, let's go check on John Mine. Yep, so he's done with his course. He's cored everything. And of course, not only is it 9 months to core, but he also pays, like, no points at all. If the, if the base cost is 57, then he would pay 57... Wait, 57. Base cost. Okay, so that's my. That's what. That's my. That's my number. I was like, what in the hell is happening? It's uh, eleven development, so it'd be one hundred and ten for him. Times 0.25. He's only twenty-seven points for a pretty decent province. Not that he needs it. I mean, he's got such high income anyway. John Mayen has fifty-two ducats a month in income. It's gonna be brutal. I hope that we have time before Mayor Nostrum comes out to actually like really throw ourselves at this guy. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so you're not going to be able to get any allies now, which is fine. Kara, hopefully, is doing well enough. That he is going to... ...be willing to do something with us. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any favors, but if we can bring him in on a promise of territory... ...you know, maybe... We can call him in on promise of territory in the Mamluks and then just betray that. We don't need allies. Allies are just stupid. We're gonna be we're gonna be John Mayan on our own. That's the way to go, I think. Actually got us nine percent blockaded. It's rather rude. Who is that? Blockade of Synop. Oh, the Ottomans. Okay, that's our blockade. Never mind. The siege has been going on for 570 days. That's a pretty long time. Okay, so we have to go to full peace. So that we may move our capital. And it gives a lot of other good stuff too. Do you think it gives you more development, more stability, more base tax, manpower, everything about it? Upgrades your government type. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a free stability bump right now, though. 
Like, we're going to be pushing our country very hard. Extra stability would be great. But we're also completely out of admin points, so... Georgia will drag. So he vassalized Georgia. Interesting. Well, that guy's screwed. I wonder why he did that. He didn't have any claims. Maybe it was a vassalization CB. Must have been. Right? I have to imagine. Okay, we're over the naval force limit by one. We've got five more land force limit now. Our income is spectacular. Uh, we're at low maintenance. We can hire more mercs. Let's just hire five more mercs. Unrest is coming up, right? Like, I've taken a lot of territory fairly quickly. We've got unrest here from when I raised autonomy. Or decreased autonomy, rather. But some of these rebellions are going to just have to happen. Need to be able to expand quickly. Okay, there goes that guy. Again, we don't want to fight his navy because there's no point. We're not going to capture anything. We don't have a, a an admiral, so the chances of catching it are almost none. There's nothing else we can do here. Take our cores back. Okay, and let's bring you guys down to here now. One more siege. Come on, 35%. Carman has rivaled Cyprus. So boys declared one Switzerland. We're down two rivals. We need to rival some more people. We do not want you to make us rival. I highly doubt he's strong enough to consider that, but maybe. Okay, we obviously take our core, and I think we just take everything else as well. It's going to put us at not too much overextension. Just take it. Okay, so now we're going to make our capital into this province, which should also make it Sunni. Yep. Due to reaching Empire rank, what now? Is that just telling us about our bonuses? Despotic monarchy. Yeah. Oh, it was talking about the cultural union. All cultures in the Oghuz group. Which was my O shortcut key. Saw Slavic. So this group. So we now accept this one. Kind of a weird group, isn't it? All right. Okay, well, I think we're pretty much ready for this. Let's go ahead and get our alliance here. Before he turns on us. Never mind, he's offering it himself. We'll take Siege Ability. Now, here's all we need to do, is we take our armies. We need a little bit of maintenance first, but we get up to full maintenance. And we want to park our troops on these three provinces right here. So we're going to go down to here. Supplies only 17 there. Should be fine there. All right, let's go ahead and do arrival. So we're not going to rival Kara. We're not going to rival... Well, Venice might work. Sure, I mean, we could get a mission for it. At some point. Kara, we're allies with. Timurids, we would like to be allies with. Poland's not so much. I don't really think we want to expand in that direction. Hungary would be good. If we can attack Hungary before Austria gets the Union over him, that'd be spectacular. They're already allies, but... That sounds fine. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Uh, we're going to grant some territory to somebody in a moment. The Bays. Probably one of the provinces that has higher autonomy, like this one. Let's give this to the Bays. We've got 10 development and 11 development. Yeah, let's give this to the Bays. 
And this one we will... Since we since we did that, right, we might as well just raise autonomy. Um, this is a Syrian core. So I think what we'll do is we'll release Syria now. Yeah, because we haven't started the core. I like that. Okay, we wait one day. I could give them this province if I don't want to pay for the core. And truth be told, we are a little bit low on admin points right now. So let's go ahead and cancel that. We'll get all of the full refund. Let's just give them that province as well. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.